quiet now that everyone's gone. Feeling lonely, are we? Yeah. I miss chatting with everyone before bedtime. No point thinking about it now. Go to sleep. Why the long face, Akta? Late for your nightly measuring ceremony? Ah, huh? yes. I tell you, it is really quite strange. The little scamp won't rise for me tonight. Not a single twitch. That's unusual. So much for the great Akta's illustrious career, eh? <laughs> Let's get going. My lady, if I may. I think the time has come for you to tell me about your flower. <sighs> Forgive me, my lady. Have I overstepped my bounds? No, I suppose it's about time. It all started two years ago. The first time I saw this flower was the day I died. Now I'm just a corpse being kept alive by the flower's magic. A corpse. My brain, my heart, my body. It's all being kept in motion by the flower. I'm no longer alive in any real sense of the word. This flower is a calamity that threatens the entire world. It's growing, feeding off me. Eventually, it's going to consume me entirely. And once that happens, once it's fully grown, it's going to destroy everything. <laughs> Pretty shit deal, huh? Thank you. 
realized I was infected by a flower that was going to end the world. I tried to kill myself. Well, technically I was already dead, but... yeah. Anyway... I tried to rip the damn thing out. But... in the end, that just made things worse. The flower freaked out, started sprouting these... children. Five little girls, one after the other. They burst out of me and ran off before I could blink. Basically, to prevent me from killing it, the flower made copies of me. And that's how I ended up with my sisters. Of course, these children aren't any more alive than I am. So now... The Eldest Corpse is running around killing all of its little corpse sisters. <laughs> Insane, isn't it? My sisters took everything from me. They each ran off with a piece of my magic. Or the flower's magic, I guess. At first I tried to recapture them, but... They had all my power. And I had... Nothing. You want to know the best part? After a while, my sisters started fighting for peace. They come from a flower that's going to end the world, and they fight for peace? Hilarious. Anyway, that's when I made my choice. I decided to kill my sisters, and then destroy the flower. I figured I started this whole mess, you know? I might as well finish it. So that's about the long and short of it. That's what this whole thing's about.
As I searched for a way to kill my sisters, I learned there was only one option. If I wanted to put him in the ground for good, I was going to need a dragon. See, to break the flower's magic, only a dragon or a weapon made from a dragon will do the trick. So I joined up with Michael, the strongest dragon of them all. And the two of us worked together. Michael! Zero. Yeah? Are you certain about this? What's wrong, Michael? You scared? Bah, I feel nothing. <laughs> A dragon who reneges on his word? That'd be something. I would never sell myself so. Then you know what to do. All my sisters are dead. You have to kill me, too. Deal? Agreed. Well, well. Glad to see you're finally interested in hearing me out. Yeah. Though you could sound a bit more thankful, at least. Just start talking before I tear you apart. Ooh, scary. Fine, fine. Listen up. For starters, let's talk about your sisters, shall we? You know. The accursed sisters that you're destined to fight? Then, we should talk about how much time you've got left. Thank you.